Hey guys, I know it's been some time since I've made a video. This last video that I made, it'll be linked up here. Uh, I probably shot that in August when we were in uh, Kenya at the coast. Um, and if you were watching that video, you'll remember that it left off uh, pretty interestingly with a shot of me in Nairobi. But I'm currently in Nairobi right now. I'm um, sort of saying that I'll make a separate video about what happened. And to make the long story short, what happened was a wave crashed over those cliffs and soaked my camera and destroyed it. And that's a story I want to talk about briefly today to also let you guys know what to do and what not to do uh, in regards to water and your camera and to give you hope if this has happened to you that there might be a way to save your camera. Okay, so for starters, exactly what happened is we were walking along the cliffs, shooting some epic B-roll for that video. Again, if you haven't seen it, it's linked up here or down there in the comments area. Go find it, uh, it was a great video. And I was having so much fun that day shooting um, and the waves crashing over the cliffs were just the biggest we had seen in our entire time down there. It was absolutely incredible. Such a cool experience. And I was on the cliff shooting that time lapse you guys saw, and then I climbed down that area, and what happened was a wave busted over the rocks and just came higher than I expected, higher than any of the waves around, and just as it was coming, I saw it and just spun around, and the waves slashed over the back of me and got the whole mic system and my Canon RP wet. So uh, immediately what I did was I took it, I turned the camera off, which is the right thing to do in a situation, I turned the camera off, I removed the mic, took the mic out of the sleeve, and the road mic was dry, uh, which is absolutely amazing. Totally, totally a miracle that that is, was still dry and was not destroyed. Um, unplugged that from my camera, uh, opened up all the ports, uh, put it in the sunshine, and just started wiping the water away with uh, a towel that my mom had, and just trying to get it dry. Um, and then everything looked fine. The camera was dry, everything looked okay, and all the water had just evaporated. So uh, this is where I made a critical, critical, critical error. And I went, because it's dry, you know, there's still lots of cool waves, I'm still in the middle of a venture. I think it's dry, let me just turn it on and use it. Big mistake, huge mistake. I turned it on, it worked for about 11 seconds, screen went dark, camera turned off, wouldn't turn back on again. So that was, that, that's the story of what happened exactly to my Canon RP. But the reason why it got destroyed is pretty simple. Essentially salt water got in through the port where right here on the side of the camera, this side of the camera, where the mic is plugged in, water got in probably through that zone where the flap was open and water inside was on the camera and it was fine. But when I turned the camera on, it put power through the circuit board which burned out the camera's motherboard and processor and just deep fried it. So that totally killed, killed the camera. So what to do when your camera gets wet in this sort of situation? As an afterthought from someone who destroyed their camera, here's what not to do. First of all, do not turn your camera on. First thing, as soon as you get wet, take, turn it off. Take out the battery, take out your memory card, remove accessories, unplug, Take everything out of your camera. And most especially, take the battery out and turn it off. Do not try and turn it back on, even if it seems dry. Then you wanna take it indoors to a shady area, inside, protected from like spray or rain. Open up all the ports on the camera and just let it sit on a towel for like two days and just evaporate the, the water out. Don't put it in rice because then the rice can get inside of the ports and clog it and mess it up. Um, and I've also seen a lot of people saying online, you know, put it in the sunshine, don't do that. If you put your camera in the sunshine, what can happen is the sun can cause the water to evaporate really quickly, making mist inside of your camera, also completely destroying it. So don't put it in the sun, that can destroy it. Just put it inside in a shady area, put it to the side, let the water evaporate, and in a few days, hopefully you'll be able to put back in the battery, turn it on, and it'll be fine. So give it like two or three days. That's what's recommended by most experts. So definitely do not do what I did. But if you have turned your camera on when it was wet and fried the board, the good news is, is I got my Canon RP repaired in Nairobi. And I'm actually filming on the exact same camera right now. So that's proof that it works. Um, and I haven't seen anything wrong with it. It's working completely fine. 
So I took it to a certified camera specialist in Nairobi and they were able to get me a new motherboard for the camera and replace the motherboard and I think it cost me about $180. So a lot less than buying a new camera and this Canon RP is about $1,000. So that's like, you know, 20% of what the total price of the camera is, which is absolutely amazing. So if you have destroyed your camera by getting it wet like that and then turning it on, there is hope. You can try and take it to a certified camera specialist or if you're good at electronics, maybe buy the motherboard and replace it yourself. That's usually what the issue is. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much the story. Now I have my camera back. It's working, there's no issues. Uh, I'm hoping to get back into making some more videos because I know I haven't filmed anything uh, in the last two months or so, believe it or not. But yeah, pretty exciting. Christmas decorations are up. We're at the Christmas season. Um, for our family, we put it up after Thanksgiving. I think I made a video on this one year. If I can find it, I'll link it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it might help you if you have ever gotten water in your camera. Um, this is definitely what not to do. Don't do what I did. Hopefully you can save your camera and good luck. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop me a like, subscribe. That kind of stuff is great. We're almost at a thousand subscribers. I think we need maybe 200 more. So that's really exciting to see that progress. So keep that up. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time.